Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I'm away right now, as you can see the scenery is a little bit different, but today Apple released watchOS 5.1.2 with a major update of the ECG, or electrocardiogram, and this is a huge update for the Apple Watch Series 4, and let's go ahead and get the app set up while it's set up then we'll have to set up the ECG app. Now, in order to do this, you need to be over 22 or it won't allow you to do this, some people have said. So let's do that now. Once I put in my birthday, I hit continue, and this goes on to explain how the ECG app actually works. It's basically using the pulses from your wrist all the way back to your finger in order for it to work. I'll show you that when we try it out in a moment, but let's go ahead and hit continue. And now we're talking about the different results you may see. So sinus rhythm, atrial fibrillation, lower high heart rates, to continue and then it's going to warn you that you should know this is not something that should be taken on your own you need to talk to your doctor if you have issues so let's go ahead and open the ECG app on our watch and take a look at it so if we open the watch app what you'll see is if we click the digital crown scroll down there's a new ECG app so let's go ahead and tap on that and then it's going to explain to us how to actually take an ECG so we'll hit OK and then we're going to put our finger on the digital crown and leave it there for it looks like about 30 seconds so we'll wait for this to run and see if it comes back with anything you may notice my heart rate is quite high I don't know if that's just because I just got in and I've been kind of running around all day uh, but I probably need to settle down a little bit but we'll wait for this we'll see what it comes back with and hopefully it works really well this technology is quite promising but let's see what happens in five more seconds or so and see if it tells us about what my rhythm is so let's see it came back inconclusive so that's unfortunate now I've read of some other people saying they've had inconclusive results as well and it comes back and doesn't really say anything so we can add symptoms but let's hit done and try it again so I'll hold my finger here try it again and let's see if it comes back this time with inconclusive or something different so we'll wait a few more seconds here we've got two one and let's see what we have again inconclusive so I'm not sure what's going on let me try it by myself see if I'm doing it wrong maybe tighten it on my wrist and see if I get any other results but before I do that I noticed on my phone it says setup complete so we'll hit done and it jumps to a couple results here that says inconclusive and inconclusive so I'll try this again on my own and see if I get any different results and hopefully I do so I tried it again and I didn't really get anything different so it's not working, I'll continue to try it out and hopefully I get some better results. Now with this update, there's some new complications. You can see in the bottom right, if we press on the infograph, we've got them for the infograph specifically, things like mail, maps, messages, find my friends, home news, phone and remote, and then all of the regular ones are still there. If we go through all of them, uh, there's quite a few of them now to scroll through. So they've added a few and some people will really appreciate that. Now the other thing they've added as well has to do with walkie talkie. You can now access that from the control center. So you can scroll down and then you can mute it from here instead of having to go into the actual app and then turning it on or off so you don't get information when you don't want it. Now there's a couple updates as well on top of this that have to do with alerting you if you have an irregular heart rhythm. Also it enables direct access to supported movie tickets, coupons and reward cards and wallet when tapped to a contactless reader. And then also you can receive notifications and animated celebrations when you achieve daily maximum points in a day during an activity competition. And then that's pretty much it for this update. So it's fairly comprehensive. There's a lot of different things and maybe even new watch faces as well with Mickey and things like that. I haven't seen anything, but people have noticed different animations. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, if you found something different in here, let me know as well. I'd love to hear what you found. And also, I'll leave a link to a wallpaper in the description so you can have something new as well. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. Before we go, I measured it again and you'll see I have sinus rhythm. So it says this ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation. Apple Watch cannot check for signs of a heart attack. And it just goes on to warn you that if you have a medical emergency to call the proper people. So that's it. Thankfully, it seems to be working now. My heart rate's gone down a little bit, but uh, so far so good. And I'll be checking this out over the next couple of days. But let me know what you think. And again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.